Have you ever wanted to go to a high-end event or a party and you wanted your fragrance to match what you're wearing or the event that you're at? When you go to this event and you're looking for a comment such as, Excuse me, that's a nice cologne you're wearing. Do it cost a lot? Hmm, should I really tell him the price I paid for these fragrances? Now in your heart you want to say yes, but your pockets say no. So in this video I'm going to give you 10 fragrances under $50 and I guarantee you that if you wear them and wear them how I suggest you wear them, people will really be surprised of how much that you paid for these fragrances. Now I started to do this list under $30, but the ones that's $50 in this list, I guarantee you, you can tell them different from a Zerjoff. Also, I'm going to give you tips on how I apply these fragrances so that you can get the best results. Now I wasn't going to do this list in any particular order, but how I arrange the fragrances, they're pretty much in the order that I would suggest. I'm going to give you the price that I paid. I'm going to give you the price in my opinion that's what it's worth. And I'm telling you the last five fragrances, I guarantee you, you probably can tell the difference between these fragrances or high-end niche fragrance on the market. Now the first fragrance is one of my least favorites, but it's one of the best from the house. And that house is Latafa. Now I paid around, I think, 19, 20 bucks for this fragrance, but it smelled like it probably cost maybe in the low 100. So for the price I paid and the value that I think it's worth, I think you will enjoy this fragrance. Now how I apply this fragrance, I go one behind each ear, one on the front of the neck, I go about four on the chest, and that'll be enough to get you some attention, get you noticed. And the fragrance I'm talking about is coming from Latafa, and although I'm not a big fan of Latafa, this is one of their best, and that is Hayati Gold Elixir. Now Grapefruit and Tonka starts this off, and that gonna last pretty much throughout the fragrance. Grapefruit might tone down a little bit, but the Tonka gonna last throughout the fragrance. You're gonna get hints of black currant. About 30 minutes in, you begin to pick up on leather in the heart, then the base is dominated by vanilla, you get amber, and you're going to get some musk. Now all of these fragrances in this list are pretty much unisex with the exception of two, but this is a unisex fragrance. It's going to give you probably six to seven hours of performance, but nonetheless, for the price, a very nice fragrance. Fruity, spicy with a touch of leather, one I think you will enjoy, especially for the price, and that's Ayati Gold. Now the next fragrance on this list, I paid $17. Get this, $17. And the price, in my opinion, that I think it smells worth, it's probably probably low hundreds also, probably 110. Smell like a high-end designer. Now I'll tell you about this fragrance. We went down to Florida. We was getting ready. My lady was in the shower. It was a joint doors. I was in there, I was spraying my cologne. She was taking a shower. And she said, wow, what's that smell? So she smelled it throughout the room into the shower. So the performance, you know you're gonna get good performance on it. Already that's worth 17 bucks. Now with this fragrance, I would go one behind each ear, about three or four on my chest, and one behind the neck. That's enough for some great performance. I'm gonna get eight to 10 hours on this fragrance. It's coming from the house of Sapil, and that's bound. Cardamom and green apple starts this off, so it's already a nice combination. You're gonna get some mandarin orange to add some fruits to it. Now what I really like about this fragrance, it's lavender in it. You're gonna get nutmeg adding a nice spice to it. Then it's dry down to leather, tonker, and amber. A nice combo leaving it sweet, spicy, leathery, and it's a gourmand. One of my lady friend's favorite fragrances, and for the price, you can tell. And that's coming from the House of Sapir, and that's Bound. This is another one of my lady favorite fragrances, and this was like 28 bucks, but when I sprayed it, I went in the room, she followed me in. She was like, wow, that smells like candy. She really loved this fragrance. And for 28 bucks, I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. It's a new addition to my collection. I already did a review on it. If you want to check it out, check out this link. But don't go nowhere yet because I'm going to tell you about this fragrance. Now, how I apply this, I go one behind each ear, one on the front of the neck, one on the back of the neck. I go about three on the chest. And the fragrance I'm talking about is coming from the house of Rasasi, and that's Untosh. First and foremost, the bottle is very gorgeous, so that's a plus anyway. So it will look nice in your collection, but this start off with a nice, sweet, creamy caramel. You're going to get a nice, spicy cardamom that adding a lot of sexiness, a lot of spiciness to it. Later on, you begin to get a musk that's very clean musk. Then in the base, when it dries down, it's really to die for. You get a nice amber. You're pretty much going to get $10 performance on it. It's spicy. It's clean. It's sweet and it's musky. But for $28, I'm telling you, this smell like it probably costs maybe mid 150s, but it's a nice fragrance from the house of Rasasi, and that's Untosh. Now the next fragrance up is a unisex fragrance, lean a little bit kind of feminine, but it's a fragrance that I wear. Now how I apply this fragrance, I go one on each side, I go about four on my chest. Now this fragrance is gonna give you at least eight hours performance, 
and I think I paid right at 30 bucks for it. But it's a fragrance that probably smells like it costs maybe 150, maybe mid 100s. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Abraj Carmine. Now, when you start off, you get this nice spicy cinnamon, you get a nice peppery note. So the cinnamon and the peppery mixes very well. But what I really like about this fragrance when it get to the heart, that's when you get a sweet, thick honey mixed with a nice red rose. Now the combination of that is very lovely along with the top notes. Then when it goes into the base, you get some cedar that I think that's taking it from being overly feminine. If you're intimidated by rose, don't be because there's enough notes in there to bring it from being overly feminine. Now this is sweet. It's very warm and it's floral. The rose and honey mix very well with this. I brought Carmine. Now this next fragrance I paid around 40 bucks for it. And it actually smells like a niche fragrance. And to me, I like this better than the niche version of it. But if you like Montel Honey Oud and you think it's too scratchy, if you think it's not smooth enough, and how I apply this, I go one behind each ear, I go about three on my chest. And the fragrance I'm talking about is coming from the house of Swiss Arabia, and that's Oud Azrak. Now the performance on this fragrance is beast mode, 10 to 12 hours on my skin. A nice thick honey, a very spicy amber dominates the fragrance. You get cinnamon in the heart, make it very spicy. Almost give it like a cinnamon pastry feel. You get some bourbon vanilla, making it boozy, making it a little bit more sweeter, but it's not overly sweet because of the notes up front. Also in the dry down, you're gonna get this nice patchouli that's not earthy, it's just a light touch of it that's leaving it sweet, spicy, and woody. If you like Montel Honey Oud, you don't wanna pay the price for it, although you can find it at discounted for a low price, but this is like half the price of discounters. And to me, I think it's a better version. I own Honey Oud, so I'm telling you my opinion, and I think this is a better version, and that's Oud Ashrak from the house of Swiss Arabia. Now you notice the theme, a lot of these are Middle Eastern fragrances, but for some reason, I don't know how they do it, but they make their fragrances smell very expensive if you deal with the right houses. Now coming up next, we're cracking the top five of these fragrances. Now all of these fragrances, I'm not just gonna keep telling you price range because I'm telling you each one from this range, they all smell like they cost 200 or more. And you can compare each one of them with a niche fragrance or a high-end fragrance and you won't be able to tell the difference. These are fragrances that if somebody asks you about these fragrances and they wanna know, can you tell me where I can learn more about these fragrances? Now what you wanna do, you wanna go to Max Smells on YouTube. Man, I'm telling you, that guy's coming up. He's gonna grow his channel. You just tell him check out Max Smell's fragrance reviews and he has fragrances like this all the time. This next fragrance I paid, I think around 35, 38 bucks, but I'm telling you this smell like a high end niche fragrance. And how I apply this, I over apply it because it's more like a, a blue fragrance, but it's aquatic with some very nice notes in it. And for this time of year, which is spring, coming up with some high heats of summer, this is one of those fragrances you would smell great when in warm weather. Both ears, front, back, four or five on the chest. And the one I'm talking about is coming from the house of Ar Art Zaffiron, and that is Desert Sutan Sapphire. Now up top, when it starts off, this is very fruity. You get cherry, you get some lychee, and you get some floral notes of iris. They keep it from being overly fruity with that floral notes in the middle. The heart is very lovely with lavender, violet, that add more florals to the fragrance. Then in the dry down, you left with vanilla, musk, and cedar wood. I get about eight to 10 dollars on this. It's fruity, it's sweet, spicy, it's woody, and a tiny bit aquatic. One of my favorite fragrances for this time of the year for the heat, and that's coming from the house of Air Art Zaffiron, and that's Desert Sutan Sapphire. The next two fragrances, I'm gonna do one at a time, but I told you, if I did a list under $50, these would definitely make my list, and they smell very expensive. Now, the price I paid for these was around 28 bucks, and I'm telling you, look at these presentation, the bottle alone look like it's well over 300 bucks. And the first one I'm talking about is from the house of Louis Mar, and that's Imperial Green. Now lemon and orange started off, you get something smell, giving it like a chalky note. You also gonna get a rose in the background that's not heavy. This is more like a pink rose and you're gonna get a white musk. I get eight to 10 hours on this easily. One of my favorite fragrances for the price is woody, it's fruity, it's musky. Very enjoyable scent, one I think you will enjoy also that is Imperial Green. This is another that I would include from this house because it's very lovely also. I go about four on the chest, one on the front of the neck, one on the back of the neck. And it's also coming from the house of Louis Martin and that is Imperial Red. You get notes of cinnamon and nutmeg, but the cinnamon is like a candy cinnamon. The nutmeg is like a real spice of nutmeg. When it dries down a little bit, you get some praline that making it nutty, 
You get some tuberose that added some floral notes to it. The base is left with benzoin, tonka, and vanilla. So by the notes, you can already tell it's a gourmand that's sweet, woody, and spicy. Now you're gonna get around eight dollars on this fragrance. That's from Imperial Red from the house of Louis Martin. Now my last two are my favorite. I'm gonna tell you right now. Trust me when I tell you this. They both smell like they probably come from the house of Zerjoff. They're not clones, but I'm just saying with the quality and ingredients, where they smell, the richness of them. If I gave you a sampler and let you smell it. I promise you, both of these fragrances, you will swear they come from a house such as Zerjoff, Unwatched, or something of that nature. This is the Zerjoff I picked out my collection. I'm just telling you, man, from the smell, the quality, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference from the next two, I'm telling you. Now, both of these are coming from the house of Swiss Arabian, and I talk about them a lot. I promise you guys, listen to me. Go out and buy these two fragrances, especially the last one. If I'm wrong, you can come back on the channel and say, man, you were wrong. That smell cheap. I promise you, man, check this out. These fragrances smell so expensive, and this is why I added the $50 mark to it. And the first one, when I wore this one time at work, this girl nearly cursed me out. She's like, blank, you smell so good. And I suggested this particular fragrance to my friend also and he tell me about the compliments he get wearing it so you can listen to me think i'm bull jiving i don't work for swiss arabians by the way if you want me to do a top 10 fragrance list of swiss arabian which i own probably 15 of them and if i get enough thumbs up i will do the video but the first one coming up is amber 07 now the presentation of these are also lovely and they are beast mode fragrances so my application is one behind each ear and i go about three or four on my chest now amber cinnamon starts it off so the top is very sweet spicy now really make this fragrance pop off with some dry dates that make it kind of jammy kind of sweet with some dark fruit so along with the top of amber and cinnamon combined with the dates very lovely combination you get some yin lang that adds more fruity notes more like a banana you get a small touch of iris in the background you get sandalwood making it creamy you get vanilla and you get patchouli that balance everything off that keep it from being overly sweet now this is floral resinous sweet and fruity and that's amber 07 now if you thought that swiss arabian was banging and i wore this one thirsty i like to wear fragrances before i do my review when i wore this i had people like what is that you're wearing it smells so different it smells so unique i had at least two people tell me that no lie now this is another beast smoke performer one behind each ear one on the back of the neck couple on my chest and the fragrance i'm talking about is Ooh, 07. Opening rose saffron starts it off. You get some spices from the amber. You get some nettiness from the praline. Ooh, they're making it woody. Now the ooh would almost give it like a skanky note, but the combination of the vanillas, the ambers, make it very sexy. Along with that rose, making it floral. The base you left with musk, vanilla, making this whole composition very balanced, very sexy, smell very expensive. This is spicy sweet woody and floral one of my favorites from the house my favorite for breakfast under 50 dollars if you like this content consider subscribing everybody stay safe peace